Hi, this is Matt, a.k.a. Mouse. If you like my reviews, please comment, please subscribe. Today I'm going to be taking a look at three new Star Wars The Force Awakens figures that I picked up recently. Number one, I'm going to start out with this guy named Sarko Plank. Here's him in the package. I like the seeing these new types of aliens that are going to be out in Star Wars. Uh, the different creatures and the different races of aliens are my favorite. And this guy looks pretty cool. I'll show you the back. Now let's take him out of the package and have a look. So here he is out of the package. He looks pretty neat, pretty interesting. I'll give you a little close-up here. He looks like he's some kind of a... That mask looks like he's some kind of a insect creature. Obviously some type of breathing apparat apparatus going on there. And then turn him around. And he's got like a gas tank oxygen tank on his back or whatever air this type of alien breathes and he comes with one accessory uh, his well two actually here's his gun comes with this massive gun here for the build build a figure weapon. Let's put that in his hand. So there. Two massive guns. And again, like the Kylo Ren figure, his leg is molded right into the cloth piece. You cannot take the cloth piece off his leg. It's molded right into the sculpt. You can see his foot there with a the peg hole. So his leg's molded right into the sculpt of his flowing cape. They seem to have done that with these new figures. And on to number two. This character's name is PZ4CO. And this is a really neat droid character. Um, has Looks like it has a C-3PO type body, um, but with a really long neck and strange head. This reminds me a lot of um, the old 80s droids cartoon and the types of robots they had in that cartoon. Um, in the movie, I'm not sure if he's supposed to be like a metallic blue, but uh, in the figure, it's a pretty plain, flat uh, blue look to it. If it is supposed to be metallic looking in the movie, um, it's too bad that they didn't try to put that in the paint application, but let's open this guy up and take a look. Before I open him up, there's a little description on the back about the character if you want to pause and read that. Here is the figure out of packaging, and I'll give you a close-up. That's what he looks like. Showed his, showed his eyes glowing on the package. I wish they could add some type of uh, feature to make the eyes glow. That would have been cool. Uh, they were glowing red, but they seem to just be white with a little tiny bit of a red outline. But this neck piece is all sculpted in. The head does turn 
a little bit. There's a closer look. And then he comes with these little uh, rocket jetpack things for his feet that are part of a Build-A-Weapon. They don't stay on very well. At least mine don't. This one doesn't seem to clip on. Oh, oh there we go. Little rocket booster thingies. So there you go, there's him. On to the next. Last one we got Goss Tours. Here's him in the packaging. And uh, while looking at the rack in Toys R Us, um, if you're a collector of the vin vintage Star Wars, you may know that uh, the vintage line had uh, color variants and um, different uh, weapons and such for the same releases of characters and different card backs as well. Um, now, I do collect vintage Star Wars, and if you collect vintage Star Wars, you would know that... Um, some of the pieces are harder to find and are more rare if they have varying uh, color dif differences or varying uh, weapons or accessories, capes, etc. Um, I did notice that this guy has a paint application mistake. Now, as you can see on the picture, um, those orange squares that are on the side of his helmet right here. They're supposed to be right on the side and with this figure they messed up on the paint application and it's quite close at the top of the head and I purposely picked this this guy up, up out of various uh, figures of the same character uh, because it had a mistake like that right there and as these toys get older Collectors look for ones with mistakes and different variants and, and stuff like that. So I did notice that on, on this guy and I purposely got the one with the paint mistake on it because, I don't know, down the road years to come, um, it might be interesting to find out if there are other collectors who have the same mistake on this guy. So we'll see. Time to open him up. So here he is out of the package. As you can see, on top of the head, I don't know if that's coming in good, but um, there are little ridges where the, the paint application is supposed to be on this little ridge right here, the, the white outline, but they made a mistake and they went over and it's really close on the head there, as you can see. And there's a little mistake there, a little white splotch there. I don't know if that was a paint rubbing off or they just messed up there as well. That little line at the very top there. Now this guy just comes with one little tiny, tiny blaster. So you can see right there, which is removable. Here's the back of this character. I find it funny that they put these little uh, these little serial numbers in silver on the fig figures now. They don't uh, 
say, Lucasfilm or anything anymore, now that I guess uh, Disney bought them out. They don't have a date or anything, so nothing to tell that the it's a Star Wars character or what company it's from at all. Just a little serial number. On the old older 90s and vintage lines, they had the date and company on them, but these ones just have little painted on serial codes. And this guy comes with this uh, base for a gun. Um, the little rocket jetpacks for the previous character uh, on his legs attached to this somehow, but I don't have the middle piece for it. But that's what he comes with. If you like this review, I will leave a link in the description to check out my other toy reviews. And I thank you for watching. Leave a comment and subscribe.